Hello guys, this is Doggover05. Today, well tonight, I will be showing you how to make a notebook for your American Girl doll. What you need is paper, such as paper, or this kind of paper, this is scraps, <laughs> and you need this kind and you need scissors, um, any sort of tape, uh, decorating things like markers or something, and a stapler. Okay, what you need to do is cut a little thing like this. out of your paper. Oops, there's tape on here. Hold on. Well, this is ripped off, but anyways, you're going to be cutting it, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm just going to make these a little bit even. Okay. So you have a piece of paper like this, and it doesn't need to be big. And now fold it in half evenly and then cut in it and now take more pieces of paper well not this kind of paper and like ones with lines on it like this Okay, yeah, um, so anyways, you put your piece of paper on here and then trace it with a pen, I forgot to tell you, you need a pen, by the way, and trace it onto the piece of paper. Oh, my pen's not working. Okay. So trace it on to the piece of paper and when you cut it out you need to make it smaller because you don't want the pages bigger than your book that kind of looks funny so trace it onto the piece of paper so it's not very good but oh well okay so anyways cut it out and remember, always cut under the black lines. Sometimes you can cut on the black lines, but this time you don't really want to. Okay, so this isn't perfect, but I'm going to trim it down. It's just cutting it off. Make sure you cannot see the pen. I'm trimming that stuff off. Alright, now we're going to measure to see if this is good. Yes, this is perfect. Now, since I have a lot of scraps on here, I'm just swish it off onto the desk. Take your piece of paper again and trace about three or four pages or trace it three or four times because we need that many pages you see, you see okay to do that this is really scribbly and movie it's on the edge of my desk alright so oh, that's not very good but oh well hmm. at least I know where to cut Now, since you can still see the lines right here, if you can see that, you need to cut and cut. Now, trim off the pen parts. Okay, put your scraps over here. I kind of have like a garbage pile over here, so yeah. Okay. And then. 
always measure to the other one that we already cut out. I'm just going to do that. Okay, so take another piece and trace it two more times. Oops. As you can see right now, it is at night. At yeah, here. Okay, now cut out this one. Make sure you don't cut outside. Okay, I'm just going to kind of trim that off. And now I need to cut off this part. Cut it with my pile. Alright. That's your third page. Now all you need to do is one more page. We're almost done, people. We're almost done. Almost. Never said we weren't. Almost. <laughs> okay. So trace this down. Again, I know, I know. It's hard work. It's hard work. Just kidding. <laughs> and cut this out. Okay. So this is not even as you can see. Okay. okay so just shut that. Now I need to trim. And cut it off the good length. Alright, now you have four pages of these kind. Oops, I forgot one page. Then you have two pages, two things of these. Alright? So, put these on top of each other. Don't matter what order. Put them on top of each other. Then you might want to trim them down so they're all equal. Okay, so. Yeah, now put this part on here. Get it all lined up, which is kind of hard. I know, I know. It's kind of hard. <laughs> Take your staples where the big boy comes in. <laughs> Oops. Make sure it's even. Now, staple it together. Alright, yeah. Okay. Should take you only two staples. I kind of have a little thing here that you see right here. Kind of space. I tried to do it, but not enough. Okay, then you take your tape. Take about that much. Cut it to even length. So it's not all ripped and everything, because mine was ripped, because I ripped this kind of tape, but I don't want to have that on a craft. So then, you go like this, cover the staples, and then fold it over on the other side. Okay, now if any is hanging down, you need to trim that off. On mine, there's none hanging down, so yay! Okay, now you decorate it. Now if you want to make it look like she wrote in there, fold it open, 
and then take your pen or pencil and draw a little doodle in there. So I'm just going to draw a flower. So see that little drawing in there right there? Just draw a few things on like two pages, then leave the rest the other two pages alone. There's Diary of a Winky Kid right there. Alright, so just draw a little weird dude over there. And that is basically how to make an American Girl Doll um, book. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!